right? So a new area. We have the Awakening Wood. Uh, if we take a look back here at uh, Valley of Repose, you can see that it has the Emergence Cave with 3-3. Three, three. That means we've completely cleared that. But it looks like there's actually two other areas we could have explored. I think because the game's trying to force us to check out the next area, Awakening Wood, we should probably go there. We should probably head there. Let's do it. Awakening Wood. Oh, this place looks huge. They spit us out. I mean, that's something. Good morning. It should please you to know that the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hull. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Stand in the ring of light below me and press A to call the purple Pikmin out. Alright, so that's how we call them, much like we call the red Pikmin from the red onion. Alright, so we'll get 10 purples. Alright, and then we can grab the rest of the Pikmin that are in the onion. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, one of the, thing, one of the cool things I can do, and I think I tried this in the last game and it wouldn't work and it, it upset me so. Oh, oh, y'all swarm this beast. No? We're not going to swarm the beast? Fine. Louis, has Olimar instructed you on the peculiarities of the Pikmin creatures? The Pikmin form groups based on color when disbanded with X. Grabbing Pikmin with A will also cause them to group by color. Now for the bonus lesson. I think this is actually exactly what I was about to do. <laughs> It's so wild how this game knows where to go. Or how I know where to go. The game, of course, needs to know where to go. After grabbing a Pikmin by holding A, you can press left or right on the control pad to swap it for another color. This is the first time you have heard this. Alamar. Remember to properly train new employees yeah this is exactly what I was about to show you actually hey hey would y'all please be so kind as to bring them things down okay so in the last game I wanted a certain color so I held and I pressed the control pad and it did nothing but this will automatically switch to the color that you you want to have I want to have purple because I want to see what happens if we have the purple Pikmin bring these suckers back to an onion. I don't remember exactly what happens. Okay. So I thought they were going to take the things back to the ship. But it seems as though they instead took it back to the onion. Okay. So they know those don't belong in the ship. I was trying to increase our numbers when it comes to purple Pikmin, but that's not how you do it. That's exactly what I was trying to show off on purpose. I promise. Okay. So let's get to our normal work. I'm disbanding you guys. I need you to do stuff according to color. Why don't you listen? Why don't, why, why, why don't, why are we doing this again? We did this already. We did, I promise we did. I promise. Okay, what I'm gonna have happen is Olimar's gonna take all the purple Pikmin. Olimar's running with the purple Pikmin today. Or he, he's running far ahead of the purple Pikmin. Louie, you're on red duty. You're on red duty. All right, all, oh, he got a red Pikmin too. Okay, I want to I want to show you the purple Pikmin landing on an enemy. Easy. They don't even have to attack. They just body it. Easy. All right. So that should make for this fight to be interesting. Everybody, come with me. All right, we need the purple Pikmin up front because I want this to be a, an in and out. I want this to be an in and out. Here we go. We take too long. He's gonna wake up. Why? Why aren't you guys in the order that I wanted you? This was supposed to be an in and out. Disband. Disband. Louie, you chill back here. You chill back here, good sir. Uh, 
Hey, stop. Stop. Stop this. We are not wasting our purple Pikmin on this thing. There we go. There we go. Here you go. Y'all would be so kind. Oh, purple Pikmin. Why are y'all so hard-headed? Fine. You don't want to listen? You don't want to listen? You want to be just like the Pikmin from the end of the last playthrough and not follow my directions? Fine. Fine. See if you get rewarded. All right. Carry that. Everybody, everybody, fine. Do it. Do whatever the hell you want. Do whatever. Oh, no. Hell no. Hell no. Not that much. Do whatever you want. Y'all crazy. Carry that. Get. Get. Take him out. Take him down. All right. One thing I do need to do, though. Even though this isn't all about time this time, I do need to not play around so much. I do need to, I do need to keep track of what we're doing. Uh, where's Olimar? Oh. There we go. All right, let's see. Where's where's the next area we need to get to? All right, this is the Sun Seed Berry. Interesting name. Okay, so where do I need to go next? I think. Let's see. Is there a reason to come up here? I don't know that. Uh, no, don't don't bother him. He is a trap. We cannot actually. We probably can. I'm not sure if I have to use purple Pikmin to take this man out. Huh? You see that? Olimar, we have a problem. The onion has ceased ejecting seeds. Is it malfunctioning? Interesting. It now seems the number of life forms within the onion has increased. Didn't you know that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture onto the planet at once? But I currently observe only 95 Pikmin on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? Ah, interesting. There's Pikmin somewhere. I want to see if this works. I have no idea. Yes, it works. Wow. If we attack him, we get a seed. I thought we were going to kill him. I thought he would be dead. No, he just got his ass up. Oh, he's back on the ground. Okay. Okay, so let's see. The uh, our, our ship has been so kind as to let us know that there's wild Pikmin somewhere. It senses wild Pikmin. Let's take a look at the map. All right, there are our Pikmin. I left a purple behind. There are our Pikmin. It looks like they're carrying something. I have no idea. It looks as though we need to go either in the direction that Olimar's currently facing or back towards the ship. There's a, there's a, a place we can go, it seems. Uh, let's see. If we go this way, we're going to run into water. Water is a boundary that Pikmin cannot, cannot traverse on their own. Oh, they... they Oh, no, they actually did stop. Okay, so there's a purple here. It looks as though the red might be to our left. Yeah, it's carrying something. Okay, so it wasn't that one over here. So maybe we can go through here. Yeah, it looks like we want to go through this way. All right. Now, one of the things that's cool, we're going to have everybody group up together so they carry things faster. One of the things that's cool about Pikmin in the ground is if you leave them after a while... They will, they will mature. They will mature. They will become much better Pikmin. Some of these leaves here. Let's see. Can I? Can I? Some of these leaves here have actually turned into buds. Uh, one of the things I mentioned in the last playthrough is that the maturity of the, the leaf or the, the plant above the Pikmin's head has to do with their, their general power level. Uh, the more mature the, the, the plant is, the 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 stronger and faster they are it's, it's very slight but the stronger and faster they are and this is something else that's pretty dope this is something else that's pretty dope this was actually the coolest one of the coolest parts of this game y'all get to work y'all get to work we here to work today i'm, I'm splitting y'all up i'm splitting y'all up louis you you head out head up here All right, so these seeds, these plants, we could actually carry them back to the ship. This is going to be a lot of treasure. 
This stretch is gonna be worth a lot of pokos. We gonna get our pokos up today. I'm leaving y'all here. No wait. I'm leaving y'all here. I'm leaving y'all here, I said. Hey, stop! Why is no one carrying this? What's wrong with you, Pikmin? All right, I'm gonna meet them back at the ship. Cause I wanna see all the money this is worth. Astounding! This red berry contains an ultra spicy essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me another specimen. Okay, so it's not worth money. Uh, Y'all want to break this wall down, though? Y'all want to get to work on this wall? I'm sure the purple Pikmin are also much stronger. I'm sure they're much... Oops, too far in. I'm sure they're much stronger, so they should be able to bring this wall down pretty darn quickly. Hey, this fellow. Or not. Or not. Huh. Captain Olimar, my research on the red berries you discovered has yielded a powerful potion. Behold the ultra spicy spray. Although it is untested, I believe it will have spectacular results. Spray it on all your Pikmin by pressing down on the control pad. When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from 10 berries. Press start to contact me and confirm your berry count. Look at L on the radar screen. All right. So the, this this is a this is a potion. It's a potion. I know I can't throw these fools that high. Not even close. I was gonna see if we can we can get some uh get some some well deserved rounds from that guy. Hey, y'all get to work on that bad boy. Uh, who we need? Who we need? Oh, Olimar. Olimar, if you would be so kind as to gather the Pikmin once more. Actually, let's bring down some more uh some more pellets. Like I said. Get to work. Get to work. This is a this is a all about multitasking. Now this is way more multitasking than the other game. Already. Uh, switch back. There we go. Oh, it seems as though they they're working on this wall. This wall's darker than the one before, and as a result, as a result, uh, it takes more time, even with a lot of Pikmin, to bring it down. What I do need though, Alamar. Since we, since we brought that bad boy back. How about we go with the rest of the Pikmin? It looks like there's more berries from that plant already. Let's get to work. I don't know if you heard that bell ringing, but that means that a uh, portion of the day has passed. In this case, about half the day has already passed. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. All right. So they have finished bringing down the wall. I'm going to borrow them for just a hot second. Y'all be so kind as to come with me and help me with these plants. Help me with these berries. Because the eight Pikmin I have assigned to the task have already taken too damn long for my liking. Come on. All right. All right. So y'all drop off. Carry those for me. If y'all don't get. If y'all don't get. Carry that, please. Thank you. Hear that? Come on, get up there. Come on, why did it take us so along? Why did it take us so along? Olimar, if you'd be so kind as to have ship duty, I think all uh, uh, Louis is just gonna be on ship duty for the rest of his life. And to be honest, I'm okay with that. <laughs> all right, let's gather these boys. Let's see. Oh wait, wait. Go, go, go to all. Go, Louis. Go, Louis. I need a purple. I need a purple because this thing I feel is, is, is a wonderful treasure that's going to be heavy. Oh, no. It's not treasure. It's an enemy. Attack him. Oh, God. I remember this enemy. Just looking at him, I remember him. He's got a long nose, and he ain't friendly. So we're going to have to stun him before we carry him, him back or before we attack him to bring him back. All right. All right. Let's see. We haven't run into the, the spare pick. Oh, oh, that's where they are. That's where they are. Okay. 
Remember, we said there were five five Pikmin on this planet somewhere. Okay, can we bring down this wall? Two hundred. Oh God, how many Pikmin? We're gonna need a lot of purple Pikmin. Oh, we we have twenty, don't we? I'm sorry, we have ten. So that should be a hundred. We're gonna need more purple Pikmin. We're gonna need more purple Pikmin to. We have ten. That's a hundred, right? Yeah. We need more purple Pikmin to bring that down. How are we gonna get more purple Pikmin, y'all? Hey, Louie. Oh my God, these things are actually growing too quickly. Too quickly. So if I wanna, if I wanna max out on those on the the potion, that is actually gonna eat up some of my time. We have to play a little bit better. We have to play the game a little bit better. Get off that thing. Get off that thing. We're not worried about the the spray anymore. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Matter of fact, leave that there. Leave that there. In the event that we have time, we'll come back and get it. I ain't worried about them berries. I ain't worried about them berries. Okay, so let's see. So now, where do we want to go? I guess if we can't go this way, I guess we want to go to the left. If y'all would be so kind, give me, give me a hand. Give me a hand. I knew it. I knew it. He camouflages as the regular ass plants in the ground. So we need to attack him. Come on. Am I out of... Why are my purples... Why are my purples coming to my hand? Hey, carry that back. Carry that back. We got the boons. We got the boons. Carry that back. Okay, so we can go... Oh, there's a cave here. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm not going to take... Like I said, I'm not going to take all the Pikmin back with me. What I'm going to do is have Olimar chill out here at this cave entrance. Louis going to head back to the ship to get uh, the rest of the Pikmin. And then we'll come back here. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll immediately jump into the, the hole. <laughs> Biological sensors are reacting violently. The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound sensors are picking up hostile roars of many beasts. Expect dangerous encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame resistant Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? Okay, so all that that thing knows is that, uh, if, Flame, flame, flame resistant Pikmin don't exist. It don't know nothing. It don't know nothing. It'll be all right. We know. We know that our, our red Pikmin can handle the heat. So we're going to need to max out on those. We're going to need to max out on those. I'm going to have Louie come back with these Pikmin. Uh, make sure we have our maximum number. And then we're just going to jump right down to the geyser. That's going to give us a little bit more time for today. Not, not the day above ground but the day's episode I'm trying to max out these episodes get give you the most bang for your buck come on y'all is this a treasure is this going to the onion it's going to the onion okay they juked at the last second and i am okay with that to be honest all right we got 20 pikmin here and we have 75 with olimar looks like we're all here oh no i actually have to have them all with one person I didn't know that. Okay. I could have sworn as long as... I know for the underground it did that. It does it that way. But I could have sworn that it also worked that way for the above ground. If I try to go in, uh, it counts how many Pikmin I have with both players or both captains. Purple Pikmin, I need you to go faster today. We don't have time. We do not. Oh, it's just one purple. Okay. Farm, but are you sure? That don't sound right. This don't even look like... This don't even look like I have 20 Pikmin with me. I guess it is. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. I done mixed myself up. All right. So when we come back above ground, we come back above ground, we're going to have a very little bit of time left for this day. But that's all right. Let's make sure. 95 Pikmin here. All right. We're ready to go. 
We're going into the Hole of Beasts. The symbols at the top of the screen let us know all the dangers within the cave. So we that gives us a little bit of time to prepare for whatever could happen. The Hole of Beasts has fire danger. We're going in. 95 Pikmin. Let's ride. All right. Okay, so let's see uh, the cave. Once again, when we're underground, when we're in the caves. There's no sense of day, so we don't. We're not wasted. We're not so heavily under the constructs of time, so we can take our time and figure things out just a little bit. All right, there's nothing in this corner here. What I'm gonna do once again? I'll leave someone here on ship detail. No, if I just if we dismiss you, you're dismissed. Do you understand, Pikmin? Louis on ship duty. Alamar, you running with the Pikmin today, buddy. All right. So let's see. Is there anything in this hall? No. Nothing here. I think as I go down different halls, it'll let me know what's uh, what's available on the map. It'll show it so that I can see it. Okay. Attack. You know the drill. You know the drill. Attack. All of them. Attack everything. With 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 a blatant disrespect, <laughs> I don't know. What I was trying to say, just attack everything. Good job, good job, team. Proud of y'all on this day. We're doing work. We are doing work. Actually, I think that number is that number is how much we've done all together. Maybe maybe I'm a big fool. <laughs> I remember this game so differently than what it actually is. It's wild. It's wild to me. Hey, look at that. Look at that. It takes five Pikmin to carry it. We got 10 on it. Y'all get to work. Y'all get to work. To be honest, I need to make a combat team in a, in a salvage team. I think that's how I used to play this game. I would have a combat team and a salvage team. And... Uh, I'd be able to switch between the two at any given moment. How does this cave go? Is that the exit behind us? Exit this way? Yeah. All right. So let's explore just a little bit more. I don't. I typically don't want to have to return to a cave unless it's something that I absolutely need to continue playing. Like I don't want to have to return because I missed a single treasure or something like that. While it's not bad, it's just I don't. I don't like wasting time in in games like this. This is the Stone of Glory. It's worth 100 uh, Pocos. Hey, there's a thing. I need y'all to carry it. Sounds like we found everything here. Sounds like we found everything here. Let's get moving. Now, did we, did we check everywhere? I guess we did check everywhere. All right, let's head out. Let's head out. What I could do, I'm leaving. I'm purposely leaving everybody because the purple Pikmin run so slow, and I don't want them to fall behind and fall off my count. Let's roll. All right, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna do that. Let's do that. Everybody disperse into your groups. I'll guess I'll have Louie do the combat team and then all the market have the salvage team. The exit is right in front of us. So if we wanted to, we could just leave, but we ain't gonna do that. We ain't about that life. We're, we're here to explore Buster Brown. Nothing here, nothing there. It looks like the only, way. that's nothing, right? Yeah, that's absolutely nothing. Only way we can go is actually this way. Hey, look at that. More purple flowers. That's how we're going to get more purple Pikmin. All right. Whoops. Oh, okay. So here's one of the cool things that you could also do. Before I mention that, actually, let me show you this way. I'll pull these purple Pikmin out of the ground. All right. So one of the things I mentioned before is that if I hold A, and, and then the ship also told us as well, uh, 
If I hold A and then I press left or right on the control pad, I can switch what color Pikmin I want. So, for example, right now I'm holding a red Pikmin. If I press right, I can switch to a purple Pikmin. Uh, one thing that I can also do is switch what kind of color Pikmin I'm holding. For example, I'm holding a red Pikmin. If I hit, while I'm holding, up, I'm holding A, if I press down, we'll switch from a red leaf Pikmin to a red bud Pikmin in case I purposely want to use a red bud Pikmin for something. I should probably throw Lee's because it won't turn the color. I'm sorry, the type of plant above the Pikmin's head, once I throw it into the flower, it automatically reverts to a leaf. So I kind of should keep my bud Pikmin uh, instead of throwing them in. All right. Disperse once again, please. We must we must change our teams. We got the 75 red Pikmin, and we got Louie take control of the purple Pikmin. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that might be it. That might be all that's here, actually. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Y'all gonna keep singing? <laughs> they stopped when I yelled at them. <laughs> I think that's it. We got all of our Pikmin with us, correct? 20 purple Pikmin, 75 red Pikmin. That's a 95, all right. All right, let's roll. This level was actually just to get us to make more purple Pikmin, which is okay. I'm 100% okay with that. 20 purple Pikmin means that we have a force of at least 200 rolling with us. And that's what we needed, wasn't it? That's what we needed on this plant, on this uh, this part of the, the world. Or above ground, at least. All right. Once again, separating the teams. I need to make sure that... Separating the teams! I need to make sure that y'all don't die. I'm giving Olimar the red Pikmin this time, just so I can keep in mind that Olimar has red. Olimar, whose main color is red, has red. Uh, this is fire. Fire is hot. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Uh, but it will deal damage to any Pikmin that is not flame resistant. The red Pikmin are flame resistant. And also, this time around, they will destroy these things so that Pikmin that aren't flame resistant can actually pass through with no problem. Last time, they just walked over it themselves. They were okay. They didn't burn. But they didn't make it so that others could pass through. Now, Pikmin are much, much stronger. Much stronger, much smarter, much greater. Now, if I wanted, we could leave them. We could leave the, the fire the fire geysers but that wouldn't be great for our team at all so we're gonna we're gonna have them we're gonna have them take it out y'all there's a thing need you to carry it need you to carry it what's that sound is that this that's the sound of them carrying it that's weird i genuinely don't remember that hey purple team Having you roll with us just to demonstrate that they are safe from fire. We don't have to worry about that. If I'm not mistaken, those won't open up again, at least until we leave the cave. Oh, there's a thing in there. Oh, there's a thing in there. Let's have uh, let's have our red Pikmin take out this geyser as well. I believe they should be able to carry that. Now, the red Pikmin are safe from fire damage. Olimar and Louie, they're not safe from fire damage. So they also cannot walk across that without getting hurt. <laughs> All right, what is this? This looks like a, a floppy disk. It's a cosmic archive. Interesting. Uh, for those of you who don't know, floppy disk is what data used to be saved on. This is for. This might be for the Nintendo. Was it 64 DD? I think that's what it is. It says, it says uh, 1996. I believe that would be around when it was. That's dope. Uh, there's a lot of things in this game that are obviously references to real world stuff. But there's a lot of Nintendo references. Like if you know your history. This is... Um... What does that sound mean? Why are we hearing this now? <laughs> Why are we hearing this now? All right, we're gonna stand by this here, this here, uh, this here hole. We got 30 Pikmin with us. That means we need to have 65 with our good old boy Louie before we leave. It looks like the missing 20 are right there. So we'll just chill out here. We'll just chill out here. Wait for them to finish. 
That is a piece for what's the game called? Oh shoot. I forget what this game is called. It's not dominoes, is it? This isn't dominoes. I thought this was the the Japanese game. A strife monolith. It might end up being a domino piece because of four on one side and three on the other. That would make sense. We got 65 pick with us here. And then 30 over there. That's 95. Well, now it's 95. Let's roll. Let's bounce. We must go deeper. <coughs> All right. We're at sub level four. Uh, split up. Split up. Louie. Hey, what? Why do they keep doing this? When I tell them to split up, why do they go to Louie? Like they best friends. Louie, you got purple team. Alamar, red team. Okay, let's explore with the red team. Feel as though this can be taken back to the base or not. It'll get destroyed. Now, what happens when we hit this yellow nectar? Is a very pick mini thing. The Pikmin that drank the yellow nectar instantly matured into flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. How intriguing. Like plants, Pikmin mature from leaf to bud to flower. Captain Olimar, you must share the information you have with your subordinate, Louie. Okay, so before I mentioned that bud flower is faster and stronger than uh than leaf pikmin. Did I say that? Bud pikmin, leaf pikmin. And then uh flower pikmin are even stronger than bud pikmin. They are in fact the strongest of all. Uh so that would that would it would be very beneficial to have all of our boys here get the nectar because they are already slow. If I'm not mistaken, Oh, they got cool flowers. If I'm not mistaken, the purple flower Pikmin are at the same level of the leaf everything else Pikmin. <laughs> As if I'm not mistaken. I could be I could be entirely wrong, and that's okay. I've been wrong before. It wouldn't be the last time. Is there anything else over here? No? Oh! Oh, there's boys! Hey! Hey, y'all attack them! Y'all attack them! We can't die around here! Oh, they dropped nectar. They dropped that good stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and they also die. Well, that should be that should be fairly obvious. Chill. Let's let's be strategic about this. And you come here. And you come here. Oh, you don't want to eat. No, you going to eat. I'm making you eat because y'all are too slow to not eat. All right. Uh, and we, oh God! I just noticed Big Man right here. How did Big Man elude me so? All right, watch this. Dead. Dead. Didn't stand a chance. Dead. All right, carry that. There we go. You two can carry that with no problem. You two can carry that. Oh my God! They're slow. <laughs> we'll carry that some other time. Um, y'all. Go, go do your firework. I'd have you carry that, but I'd rather you do firework at the moment. Come on. We got work to do. We got work to do. There's firework over here, it seems. And over here. Hey, it's, look at that. Hey, it's another flower. I guess it's a good thing that I didn't upgrade the red pigment just yet. All right. This is a dream architect. For those of you who don't know, this is actually a Game & Watch. This is the system that you would play Game & Watch games on. This is Ball. Specifically, this is Ball. Dope. This is, oh, uh, this is what Nintendo made before Super Mario came around. No, get away from that, you clowns. Y'all, y'all, genuinely, y'all Pikmin are clowns. Let's be real. Okay. Uh, y'all read, oh God, no! 
Leave it alone. Big boy's gonna wake up. We'll carry that some other time. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. We murdered him. Carry it away. Carry it away, ladies and gentlemen. Are y'all not gonna pick it up? There we go. You have to hold that corner. Y'all have to hold that corner, huh? Okay, fine by me. Fine by me. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's how we're gonna do it. We are going to throw only Leaf Pikmin into this here, uh, this here purple flower. Right after these messages. This here? This here? This is a luck wafer. All right, Leaf Pick. Oh, shoot. I hit the wrong button. Damn it. Astounding. The heads of the Pikmin are glowing, and they seem extremely agitated. The ultra spicy spray appears to increase Pikmin speed and attack power. What a discovery. Okay, so I didn't mean to hit that button, but while while you use that, all Pikmin are gonna be super fast and super strong. Like even past that of flower Pikmin. I didn't mean to hit that. I hit down so I could throw the leaf Pikmin. One, two, three, four. Five. Now this only affects Pikmin under whoever's control you use it on. As you can see, the Leaf Pikmin are still just chilling the hell out. I'm gonna have everybody group together so we can make some uh, some flower Pikmin. I goofed. I goofed. And that wan sound is them turning down. There we go. All right, I'm sorry. I apologize, team. I goofed the hell up. I'm sorry. I need Leaf Pikmin. Hey, what? Oh, my God. You know what? F it. F it. Forget it. Whoever gets it, gets it. I don't care anymore. I don't care. <laughs> we got things to do. Do we find everything here? Do we find every? I think we might have found everything here. All right, y'all, y'all souped up. Y'all ready to go? Y'all, y'all okay? We're going to the next level now. Since we all here, ninety-five Pikmin rolling with us. Let's ride. Flowers and leaves and buds and purples and reds alike. Diversity, y'all. All right, so this is the final floor. Remember, we were reminded, or we were told of a roar, and I believe we know what the roar is coming from. That thing, that snoring. Okay, I need to I need to be careful here, because to be honest, I don't remember. I don't remember what the hell we're about to get into, but we go and get into it. We could fight this thing, or we could just leave. Y'all know I ain't never running from a fight. So let's go to war. Come on. Come on, be quick about this. This thing is huge and ugly. Get out of there. Now this looks like the bull boards that we've seen before, but very clearly it's big and it rolls. So we need to have our Pikmin not, hey, what the hell is my camera doing? We need to have our Pikmin not be under its body when it rolls, because very clearly it's going to flatten them the hell out. I need purple Pikmin. We're going to go for the head. We're going to go for the head. It seems as though that might be the side that gets the least rolled on. And if we call them back after the purple attack, I think we might be okay because they deal damage right when they... Hey! 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 Oh, Jesus. He ain't listen. Come here. Now, he took damage, so his flower actually got reverted to a leaf, which is, which is better than him dying. Much better than him dying. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on just attacking his head. And we can call them off. We can call them off after they land because, remember, they deal damage. They deal damage upon impact. They deal much more damage upon impact, I should say. Them them ground pounding deals deals a healthy amount of damage. This is kind of the cheap way to win, but I mean this is how you're supposed to win. Otherwise, he'll he'll diminish your team. Remember, we we needed we needed 200 worth of Pikmin once we leave here to complete a goal. So we actually need to make sure we leave here with at least 200 worth of Pikmin. 
And that's by keeping all of our purples alive. Come on. Dunzo. Carry that. Carry that. Huh. How bizarre. This device is emitting black light. It must have been ingested by that creature. What an absolutely repulsive life form. Our return to Hakatate cannot come soon enough. Carry that, I say. And this too. Carry this too. You need 35 Pikmin on it. We got we got a healthy amount. We got a healthy amount. He's worth a whole 15 Pocos. Dope. Yo, just help. Just help. Help. Fine. You helped. All right. What is this? This is a prototype detector. This contraption seems to react when it approaches treasure. I will connect it to my radar. Processing complete. The treasure gauge is now fully operational. It will now appear on your monitor. The needle will move right as you approach treasure. That's dope. That actually makes it a lot better. If you check the bottom right of the screen, that there will that needle there will move to the right when we get near treasure, and it will fade gray like it just did once we found everything on any given area or in a location or even underground. We got 95 picking with us. Let's head back to the surface. Now we have 200 worth of Pikmin in our purple Pikmin alone. Let's see if very quickly we can go ahead and get rid of that barrier before the day ends. Let's see if we can get rid of that barrier that required 200 worth of Pikmin. All right, we finished the cave completely. Six out of six treasures, nothing left for us there. All right, I remember we don't have a lot of time left in today at the Awakening Woods. Oh shoot, we have even less time because we came back to the ship. I thought it would drop us back off of where we uh we we went in. All right, let's try and make this quick. Twenty percent of depth recovered. Let's try and make this super quick. As you can see now, the gauge is going off. That means we're nearby treasure somewhere. I'm sorry. Now we're nearby treasure. Uh, there's treasure here. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's in the, the, the far left of the of the area. That means, oh, oh, hey, y'all leave them alone. Leave them alone. We're not worried about them today. We're not worried about them. We got other things to do. All right. So we, we might be able to make it in time. Oh, we're near treasure now. Okay, let's, we can bring this barrier down, I'm sure. All we have to do is get our Pikmin up there. Remember, at the end of the day, we need to make sure that we don't have any Pikmin out in the wild on their own. Pikmin cannot survive in the wilderness on their own. They need to be in the onion at the end of the day, or in the case of the purple Pikmin, they need to be in our ship. Okay, so it's saying there's treasure nearby here. It's saying it's wildly nearby here. That's wild. Is it up there? Hey, it's up there. I don't know how we get up there just yet, though. I don't think we get up there just yet. So our day's gonna end. Let's see if we. Oh, it's. He's gotta tell us about the day ending. Alamar, Louis, the sun will be setting soon. Call all of your Pikmin to you. This planet's native nocturnal life forms are ferocious and therefore dangerous. Load your Pikmin into the onion in yourselves into my hull so we can take refuge in low orbit. Pikmin and your squad will enter the onion on their own at day's end. So call them all to you. All right. So as he, as as our ship has let us know, we need to have all the Pikmin with us. If we just wait till the day ends, oh, God, we need to at least kill these things because they're going to make it hard for us to get by without worrying about them. Uh, if the day ends and any Pikmin are not with us, they will be lost to the planet. But if we want to end it early, we can. There's several ways we can do it. We can come back to the ship and tell it, hey, end the day. We can send our Pikmin here and just wait for time to end. Or we can pause the game, go to the menu, and hit go to sunset. That's what we're going to do today, ladies and gentlemen.
End the day, of course. All right, so we didn't find the five Pikmin that were lost in the wild, but that's okay. They aren't our responsibility. <laughs> All the Pikmin that we have with us are fine and safe. They're back in the ship, and then the onion, we taking off. We taking off. He tried to. He tried to attack us. He tried to attack us. He don't understand. We impenetrable. Did we leave something on the ground? I think we might have left a treasure. It's okay. It'll be there when we get back. Our numbers keep going up. Our numbers actually doubled today. That's dope. They perfectly doubled. How's progress, Alomar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Be sure to hold R occasionally for a close-up view on the action. Don't tell me what to do, boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of another day, guys. Tomorrow we'll be playing some more Pikmin, of course. We'll, we're going to get through this. We're going to have a lot of fun on this. I wonder, I've never actually 100 percent at this game, and I wonder if it's actually fun to do so. We've gotten the perfect playthrough. We've gotten the perfect ending in the first playthrough. I wonder what 100 percenting this game is like. <sighs> we'll be back tomorrow with more Pikmin. We'll have some fun. Oh, we going to have us some fun. <laughs>